there. I'm the Gulf Coast Granny, and this morning I harvested these peppers, and they're probably going to be the last peppers of the season this year. But I also have this bowl of peppers that are getting kind of wrinkly and old. And what I thought I'd do this morning is show you how I preserve them and use up the ones that look like they're on their last leg. I'm going to cover this baking sheet in foil. I've already got my oven set to broil. And I have my rack in the middle of my oven. I've already washed my peppers. And the next thing I'm going to do is just de-seed them. Well, that was easy. I'm going to cut them in half. You know what? I'm going to get a bowl to put these seeds in. Who knows? I might be able to grow them next spring. And all I'm doing is cutting these in half and getting the seeds out. Some of these are called gypsy peppers. Some of them are bell peppers and some are banana peppers. And I'm just going to do them all together. I'm not taking out the veins on the inside, just the seeds. Now, if you have one like this that has a little bit of a mushy spot in it, just cut it out. If you have black spots, cut those out. Anything that looks like it wouldn't be edible, just cut it. Now, wrinkly skin is edible. So don't cut all of that off and waste your pepper because there's nothing wrong with that. I'm mostly just talking about soft spots or black spots or mold or whatever. I kept these out on the countertop instead of in the refrigerator. The ones in the refrigerator, they get soft a lot faster in my opinion. There's no scientific proof to that, I don't think, but that's my experience. And here's our last one. There. So now I've got them all halved. And, oh, except for this one. I might use that for dinner tonight. I think I will. We're going to put these skin side up on this cookie sheet covered in foil. You don't need oil. You don't need salt. You don't need pepper. guess you could use it if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. And now we're going to put these in the oven. and roast them until the skins turn start to turn black. Now keep a very close eye on them. My oven right now is at 525, and the very top element is what is doing the cooking. So that heat is blasting down on there, and it doesn't take but a couple of minutes for this to, whole process to happen. Mm, five at the most, I'm sure. But you do not want to burn them too badly, or they'll be inedible. Ask me how I know. <laughs> My son loves cinnamon toast and I do it in the oven on broil. And here lately I get so distracted that I don't, I forget that it's in there until I start smelling it. Well, by the time you start smelling it, it's too late. That stuff's burnt. All right, y'all, they are ready. Ooh, move that off of there. See there how black the tops are? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with this towel so these peppers can steam. And we're going to keep them under this towel until they cool off. Now I believe that they have cooled off enough that we can get the skins off. Let's check it out. I'm going to need my glasses. Look at that. It just pulls right off. See there? And we're going to peel all the skins off. Now, when you get your peppers all peeled, you can use them in any dish that calls for peppers. You can use them on sandwiches. You can make a roasted pepper soup. You could store them in olive oil with maybe a sprig of rosemary and a little garlic 
and it'll last for months in your refrigerator. You can also freeze them. But I just love to make a grilled cheese sandwich and put some of these roasted peppers on it. It is delicious. Maybe use some provolone or Havarti or a combination of different cheeses. You can even blend these into some hummus for a really nice flavor. I am noticing that the cooler these get, the harder it is to pull the skin off. So you might want to peel them when they're a little warm. And now what I'm going to do is put these into a freezer bag. But before I do that, I'm just going to slice them into thin strips. Boy, I sure wish I had enough to fill up this whole bag. But that's what I'm left with. And I'm pop these in the freezer. And I'm sure that sometime this winter, I will get a craving for some garden fresh roasted peppers. Leave me a comment below and tell me what you think of this trick. Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you again real soon. All right?